welcome back to PP Simmons Television. My name is Mike Shoesmith. You know, there are some messages contained in the Bible which are open for debate, and we can have these discussions respectfully and while loving each other, in house sort of things, you know, in the church, we can talk about this and that and whatever. We can even agree to disagree on some things, but there are certain messages which scream, which just leap out from the pages of the Bible. One of those messages is, move on. That is a message that is, that is so loud from the apostles, from Jesus himself. You know, Paul says in Philippians 3.13, Brethren, I count myself uh, to have apprehended. I count not myself to have apprehended, rather. But this one thing I do, this one thing I do, he says, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And Jesus himself said in Luke 9.62, If you strap hold of the, the burden of, of being a follower of Jesus Christ and you look back, you are not worthy of the kingdom. So this is a powerful, powerful message. And it's a liberating message. I mean, people need to hear. People need permission to move on, to forget those things that lay behind, and grab hold of the freedom that's in the cross, that's in Christ, that's in, that's in the future kingdom assignments that God has for you. You know, one of the ways that the devil keeps God's people from influencing and giving him a bloody nose is the, the guilt. He's the accuser of the brethren, the Bible says. The devil keeps God's people incapacitated uh, so that they don't do anything to, to stir up what he's doing in the world. So the devil puts all kinds of guilt on God's people and says, look, uh, look what you did to your wife, your kids, at work. You took that donut when you shouldn't have. And this and that and this and that. But you know, the Bible has something to say about that. Move on. But you, how can you move on when you're strapped with this guilt or you've been taught that you have to perpetually confess each and every individual sin or if you die with unconfessed sin, straight to hell you'll go. I mean, who can live like that? It would be like being married to a woman who is constantly saying, if you do this, if you do that, I'm leaving, I'm out of here. I mean, you, how, what kind of marriage is that? The Bible has a specific message for the church. It is to keep moving forward in forgiveness. You are a forgiven person as an adopted child of God. So anyway, I put this message up on our Facebook page. It is a message that was taught by our resident... Uh, Bible expert, Carl Gallups. And uh, the message is, once saved, always saved. Carl does a Ask the Preacher show every Sunday morning. You can get that on WEBY every Sunday morning. Uh, it's a great way to do a little Bible study before you go to church. And uh, so I put this video teaching, it's about an hour long, on our Facebook page. And some people went on there with some scripture verses that they were concerned with. Uh, and uh, when the, all this was going on, I was on my Blackberry <laughs> out doing business. And it was, it's difficult to, to do a proper uh, teaching in, in the comment threads on Facebook when you're, you know, you're out and about doing business on a Blackberry, especially with my big thumbs. So what I did was I told the people, I said, look, we're going to make a video about this and get into more detail with this and uh, I'm going to see if I could get uh, Carl Gallops on the show and uh, Carl has agreed to come on and uh, talk to us about these verses that people are stumbling over and to help people get on with it because if there's one message that, that is screams at the church get on with it you're forgiven move on Carl are you there? I'm here, Mike. God bless you. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Listen, man, this is, uh, to me, I don't know if you're as passionate about this as I am. I think you are, but... Yes, I am. Uh, yes, I am. 